Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing four kid-friendly breakfast ideas that are not only super easy to throw together, but that are also great for meal prep. All of these recipes can easily be doubled or tripled and then stored in the fridge or freezer for a later date. Now before we get started, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. First up, I'm going to be making some delicious breakfast taquitos. Now these are similar to a breakfast burrito, but I actually like them better because number one, they're crispy, and number two, I think they're easier to reheat than a breakfast burrito because they're smaller. Another great thing about these breakfast taquitos is that you can really customize them to however you like them. You can put any kind of meat, any kind of cheese, you can even add lots of veggies if you prefer. Of course, I'm making these for my kids and they like them pretty plain. To make these breakfast taquitos, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to prepare your meat, whatever kind of meat you wanna use. This could be ham or turkey or bacon, but what I'm using today is this pre-cooked turkey sausage. Not only is this so quick and easy because it's already cooked, but I really like this kind because it's not very greasy. Now, if I was making these for me, I would probably saute up some potatoes and onions, maybe even some peppers, that would be so good. And if you wanted to do that, now would be the time. But like I said, I'm keeping these pretty simple because I want my kids to eat them. So the next thing I'm going to do is prepare my eggs. I'm gonna be making 10 of these taquitos today, and these are the medium-sized flour tortillas. So that means I'm gonna need about eight eggs. That's gonna end up being the perfect amount for 10 tortillas. Of course, feel free to double or even triple this recipe if you wanna make a bunch of these for the freezer. Now, when it comes to the eggs, I just go ahead and scramble them up, nothing special here. For my scrambled eggs, I like to add a little bit of milk and salt and pepper, that way they're nice and fluffy and flavorful. Now that my eggs are fully cooked, I can go ahead and add in my sausage. Now this sausage is fully cooked and I went ahead and defrosted it, so I'm really just warming it through here. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a big stir and then I'm also gonna be adding a cup of shredded cheese. Now if I was making this for myself, I would probably add pepper jack. But for the kids, I'm using a three cheese Mexican blend. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that all together. And for some kids, you might wanna stop right there. But my kids actually like salsa, especially if it's mild salsa. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a few tablespoons directly to my egg and sausage and cheese mixture. I'm just gonna give that a big stir and then I'm ready to make the taquitos. So of course, this is the really easy part. You just wanna make yourself a little assembly line. I'm adding a scoop of the egg, cheese, and sausage mixture. If you're adding veggies, you'd also wanna do that now. And then even though I already put cheese in the mixture, I'm also gonna be sprinkling on some extra cheese. That extra bit of cheese in there is gonna be really tasty, and it's also gonna sort of act like the glue that keeps this taquito together. And then I'm going to roll these up as tightly as I can, and place them seam down on my plate. Now if you're making these for the freezer, what you're gonna wanna do is lay them on a cookie sheet and then stick them in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Then you can go ahead and transfer them to a Ziploc bag and then you can stick them back in the freezer and they'll be good for a couple of weeks. Now when it comes time to cook these, all you have to do is pull them out of the freezer, put them on a baking sheet, make sure you place them seam side down and then what I like to do is spray them with a little bit of coconut oil spray. Just a light coating on the outside and that's really gonna crisp up our taquitos when they're in the oven. And then I like to bake these at 400 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Now when it's time for the kids to dig in, I like to cut these in half. That helps them cool down a lot faster. It's easier for the kids to hold on to. I'll serve them with a little bit of sour cream for dipping and some fruit on the side. Next up, I'm going to be making some mini breakfast sandwiches. These are kind of like a healthier version of a McGriddle sandwich from McDonald's. So that means I need to start by making some pancakes. Today, I'm gonna to be trying out this multi-grain pancake mix, but you could actually use any pancake mix or recipe that you prefer. And then I'm also taking another shortcut with the sausage. Again, I'm using this pre-cooked turkey sausage. 
except these ones are actually sausage patties, perfect for a mini sandwich. And then these sandwiches will also be getting two little slices of cheese. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stack up these slices and cut them into quarters. Now I actually love to meal prep pancakes in general, so I'm gonna be making extra pancakes as well. That way I can turn some of them into these sandwiches and then I will freeze the rest for a later date. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using my big skillet here, that way I can cook a lot of these all at once. I'm placing the turkey sausage directly on there. It is fully cooked, it just needs to be heated all the way through. And then here's the trick for the pancakes, you guys. You really wanna make these about the same size as the sausage. That way it can fit nicely together as a sandwich. So that means I only need about one tablespoon of the pancake batter. I find that that's like the perfect size. Now I have to say that this multi-grain mix made kind of flat looking pancakes. I kind of wish they were fluffier, but I still think they'll taste good. So now to build the sandwiches, I'm just gonna take one pancake, place my sausage directly on top, and then add in my cheese. Now on that first sandwich, I actually forgot to put two pieces of cheese, so I definitely went back and added two to each little sandwich, one on the top and one on the bottom. Now I'm not actually gonna be freezing these sandwiches today. I'll just put any leftovers in the fridge and I can reheat them tomorrow, but I will have all of those extra pancakes that I made to stick in the freezer. So it's definitely a two for one with this breakfast. Now as you can see, I went ahead and put these sandwiches on a little skewer and added them to my box. They're so cute that way and very portable too. So if you needed to take this on the go, you definitely could. Now you definitely could serve this with some sides. I have a hard boiled egg, raspberries, and a little bit of yogurt. Next up, I'm gonna throw together some baked oatmeal muffin cups. I like to call these chunky monkey muffin cups because they have chunks of chocolate and bananas. Now this is another perfect breakfast where you could double or triple the amount that you make. Then you can store them in the fridge and just reheat them as you need them throughout the week. Now I've started by preheating my oven at 350 and I've also lined my muffin tins with these silicone liners. Now for this recipe, I'm gonna start with the dry ingredients first. And for this recipe, and in fact, all of the recipes I'm sharing today, I will go ahead and put a link to the recipe down below so you can print it out and make it yourself if you'd like. Now these muffin cups are super customizable. If you don't like bananas, you can leave them out. And if you don't like chocolate, you could leave it out. So in my dry bowl, I have my oats, cinnamon, baking powder, and salt. Now I'm setting this aside and in a separate bowl, I'm gonna combine my wet ingredients. Now this kinda looks like a lot of ingredients, but trust me, these are pantry staples. So most likely you already have everything you need to make these. It's nothing weird or fancy or special. I'm just adding two eggs. I'm adding some maple syrup to sweeten it up. You could also use regular sugar if you'd prefer. Next, I'm adding two mashed up bananas. Then I'm adding two generous teaspoons of vanilla and whisking it up. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in some milk and some melted coconut oil. Once I have all my wet ingredients combined, I can add them to my dry ingredients and stir it all together. Now I have to say you guys, this is smelling so good. And at this point, you could really add in anything you want. Blueberries, cranberries, walnuts, coconut, all of those would be really tasty. But for today's recipe, I'm just gonna go ahead and spoon the oatmeal into my muffin cups, and then I'm gonna top each one with a handful of chocolate chips. Now you could add more chocolate chips if you wanted, but one thing I like about this recipe is that these don't get overly sweet. They're just sweet enough. And then finally, all I have to do is pop them into the oven for about 30 minutes and they're done. Now you definitely could throw these into a freezer bag if you want, but what I like to do is just put them into a sealed container and stick them in the fridge. That way I can pull them out, stick them in the microwave for about 10 seconds and they're ready to go. And trust me, these do not last at my house more than a couple of days. Next up, I have a yogurt based breakfast. My kids love yogurt in the morning, but this recipe is a little bit different than the regular yogurt you can buy at the store. For this recipe, I like to use Greek yogurt. And personally, I like to use the vanilla flavored one that's lightly sweetened already. But sometimes I also use plain yogurt and just add my own sweetener. 
and most of the time I use honey as the sweetener. Now I'm just gonna be making a small batch of these, one for each of my kids, but you definitely could make more if you'd like. I'm adding this entire container of yogurt to my bowl. This is about two cups of yogurt. Next, I'm gonna throw in some unsweetened cocoa powder. Now you definitely don't wanna to add too much of this because it's kind of bitter on its own. I'm just adding two teaspoons to start with. You could definitely add more later if you want it more chocolatey. Next, I'm gonna be adding some peanut butter powder. So if you're a fan of chocolate and peanut butter, you'll totally understand what I'm trying to do here. And then you don't have to do this, but I went ahead and sifted this all into my yogurt. That way I wouldn't have any big lumps when I was done. Now at this point, I always give it a taste to see how much sweetener I wanna add. Especially if you're using an unsweetened yogurt, you're definitely gonna to wanna to add some, otherwise it'll be way too bitter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle in a couple of tablespoons of honey. This is definitely to your own tastes here. And now comes the fun part, time to layer it all together. In the bottoms of my cup, I went ahead and added our chocolate peanut butter yogurt. Next, I'm adding in some granola. My kids love granola on yogurt. If you have a peanut butter granola, that would be even better. And then to make it even more like a chocolate peanut butter cup, I'm also gonna sprinkle on just a few teaspoons of mini chocolate chips. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my lid and pop them into the fridge. This is a breakfast that I don't usually like to freeze. I like to just keep it in the fridge. It'll stay good for a couple of days. And when it comes time to serve it to the kids, I also like to throw in a banana. It's a perfect combination for chocolate and peanut butter. If you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more breakfast ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.